NATO defense ministers issued a statement Wednesday calling for a, quote, sovereign, independent, and stable Ukraine. They say they're following developments closely and deplore the loss of life. CCTV's Sandra Gatman has more on NATO's reaction. Well, NATO is really wielding the little influence it has uh, on Ukraine, which is a non-member of the alliance, uh, to try to create some sort of stability in the country uh, on the back of this crisis. NATO, of course, has existing ties with the Ukrainian government, which is now, as we know, under new leadership. Uh, those ties fall under an agreement, a partnership that goes back to 1997. Now, the crucial point in all this is that the agreement sidesteps the military, the Ukraine Ukrainian army, uh, which uh, Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen warned not to get involved. And I think that was a major concern for many that perhaps the military was going to side with President Viktor Yanukovych, who, as we know, was ousted, and step up in some way the violence against the opposition that was rising against uh, his regime. Now, that has not happened as of yet, and I think the hope is that that will remain the case. Uh, and there were also strong words from the Secretary General for any other parties trying to wield their influence in this crisis uh, to stay out of it. Uh, we think those messages were directed towards Russia, but also any other uh, Western uh, countries that may want to try to jeopardize or, or yield their influence in what is a very fragile political process underway in the country at the moment.